from where one image is transferred to the other div and we can get it back also. Hello guys, today we're gonna learn about drag and drop. So we have created two divs, right? How to do it? Let's learn. So here's the first div, div one ID we have given and div two ID we have given. And we have write a, written a CSS for that so that it creates this box. Okay. We are given just a simple border and width, everything. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to mention first that content which is to be dragged. So we have to mention that image has draggable. And we have to set it as true so that it knows that this is the item or content which is needs to be dragged right so with which it needs to be like right? it is dragged from where up this day right so we're gonna drag from from here so we're gonna write on drag over right we're gonna write this attribute and we're gonna give a value of allow allow it to drop so decaps guys be careful and we have to create an event so now it is showing that it is draggable true and it is dragged from this div right and one more thing we have to mention in the image itself or the content itself that we have to start the drag from which element right so we have to start the drag from this image element so on drag start we're gonna create one event that is drag event so we got the drag event we are gonna on drag over and it is true right so we're gonna transfer it where to transfer we are gonna transfer it to second div so we're gonna write it here as on drop so we are dropping the image right here so we're gonna write it as drop event I will explain about this events guys in JavaScript how it is happening. So first let us learn about the attribute. So we have written the on drop event. So next thing is we we get the image from this div to the other div, but how to get it back to the same div. So it is the same thing like on drag over. So you are gonna once the image come from this div to this div. So if you want to go back so it should be drag over right so we're gonna drop the drag over uh, code here and it should be droppable right so we're gonna drop this on drop code here so now this is draggable and droppable let's run it before that let's me explain the javascript code for you so we have given this allow drop this is on drag over right when the dragging starts so we have set it to prevent default because we gonna set the transfer thing inside drag and drop function so set this has event has default and uh, you can keep this event as ev itself that's not a problem so from here we start the drag function and drop function so in drag function we're gonna set a data so data has to be transferred this event data has to be transferred it might be uh, given as any kind of data image or anything so we're gonna require that id this id needs to be drag one needs to be taken and it is needs to be dropped so this thing should match guys so this drag and drop data should match so even it checks when while dropping the event should be default that is allow drop is there it is there right so it checks with that and we have we are setting the data to this variable and uh, it has to be transferred with this event data right so we got the data right but how to replicate the image over there right so for this targeted drop we're going to append a child that is append this image to here so it is data has been transferred it has to be uh, it has been displayed so we have to be we have to append this targeted event here so that's how it comes then you can start drag and drop guys that's it so thank you for watching if you like it please like and subscribe